This is Matthew Gadinius, and in this video, I'm going to introduce a website called Explore Learning Gizmos. And we're going to look at uh, just how effective and useful this website is. It's going to be a little review of the appearance, accessibility, ease of use, effectiveness, and how fun is the website for students to use. So if you look at the main page here at explorelearning.com, you'll see that this big window says there's over 450 highly interactive online simulations for grades 3 to three through 12, and you'll see some pictures of examples of those. So you can see that they're basically math and science simulations and activities. Uh, you'll notice right away that it says free 30-day trial, which implies that it does cost money. It is a subscription-based site. Um, if you click on purchasing info, you can contact them and find out more. They'll give you a proposal, but they don't have exact prices on here. So I'm not sure exactly what the what the costs are. It could be cost prohibitive, but it's worth uh, giving a try and seeing if it's worth, uh, you know, a reasonable resource for you to use in your classes. So thinking about what this website does well and what it doesn't do well, the appearance is great. The color, the graphics are colorful, interesting, and and up to date. They're they look cutting edge. They look nice. There's nothing uh, nothing strange or or old-fashioned there. There's no advertisements on the screen because it is a paid-for site. It's not going to be commercially supported by advertising. The audio is appropriate. It's not distracting. So it is nice to have a few very faint, minimal sound effects to help students realize when they're clicking on something and moving it, for example. Uh, the layout is simple and pretty easy to use, especially for students since they sign up for the class and just those gizmos show up for the students. It's a little bit more difficult for teachers to navigate and find what they're looking for, but very nicely organized into topics, grade levels, state standards, and curriculum. You click on the Browse Gizmos button up here. There are a few different ways to browse them. Um, they're broken down by topic, math, and science, and then by grade strands. You basically have intermediate grades, uh, middle school grades and high school grades. Also another great feature is that it breaks it down by state standards. So you can actually look for your state and see specifically the standards for that state. There's even three provinces in Canada as well. And this is another great feature that you don't see very often. It will break down the tools by curriculum. So if you've adopted a specific textbook or curriculum, you can actually find which activities in this program will match up with which lessons and units you're working on in your textbook. That's a feature that a lot of teachers like to have. Normally you can't get that. You have to map them out yourself. So that can be a very useful tool. So the appearance is great. I'd give it four stars out of four. Accessibility wise, um, it does not allow for offline access. And that's something that some other simulation and game sites do allow for, which could be a major benefit for some schools. So I'm going to dock a point there. Um, there are also don't appear to be multiple languages supported on the site. It seems to be only in English. I may be wrong about that. I'd have to look around some more, but I don't see anything that makes it easy to uh, find Spanish or other languages. So that could be a huge drawback for some students. There's not even audio support to support those students. And um, there doesn't appear to be any way to change the visibility for visually impaired or to change the physical interaction for physically impaired students. You really need to be able to use a mouse to use this site. Um, and the visuals are okay. They're fairly large and easy to see, but um, there's no way to control that. So really accessibility, it does not shine. I'm not going to give it any stars for accessibility. For ease of use, there's not really tutorials that show the concepts or teach the students anything. It's really just practice, assessment, uh, experimentation that's done here. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like to actually use the gizmo. If I click on the gizmo screen here, it will load up and you'll see a loader appear because it is a flash based file. So one drawback of this is they cannot be downloaded, they cannot be run offline, it's all online and uh, that could take down the accessibility level if your bandwidth at your school is fairly low or you have a lot of computers running at the same time this site could take a while to load up these gizmos so that's something to keep in mind. Now once you're in you see it's pretty straightforward um, basically they can just interact with these different pieces. It says fractions, you can change what it's showing in the box here. These are basically fraction bars broken down into grids of 10 columns by 10 rows for percent or for hundredths. And you can change the number at the bottom here and see how it relates to the picture. So we could compare 3 tenths, for example, with 0 0.7 or 8 and compare that to a certain percentage. 
Now, which one's the biggest, which one's the smallest, how do they compare? Well, we can look visually and see that 7 tenths is greater than 3 tenths, and we can easily make them line up. But percent is different. It gets broken down further, so it's not tenths anymore, it's 100. So you can really have the students see how to compare them. If you show a comparison, it will show you whether one is greater than another one. It will order them based on their sizes, so it will give you a comparison of them. And you can show them on a number line as well. This is showing a decimal number line, but you can also show it as fractions or percent. So it's basically, this is just a manipulative that simulates some of the fraction bar manipulatives that you could use in class on paper uh, using pa plastic pieces or cardboard cutouts. The text and the directions are fairly large, pretty short, easy to read, so they're definitely appropriate. So I would give a star for that. I'm also going to give a check for activities not being too easy or too difficult. They're pretty straightforward. I haven't seen any activities that are too hard to understand for the for that grade level that they're assigned to. Um, they seem to be very appropriate, difficulty level. And navigation around the site is very easy. Um, as far as the effectiveness of the site, it seems it could be a very effective tool, especially considering the fact that it aligns to state standards by different states, as well as separate uh, curricular texts. The activities it has are very interactive. There are some games and there are also labs that are manipulative, so there's a variety of different interactive tools. Now if I go here and I look at this sample, you can compare the appearance to the different crystal shapes and see it looks like, uh, you know, maybe it has a hexagonal shape for the most part. Uh, if you look at the luster, you can look at that it has sort of a glassy luster to it. So you can compare the terminology and apply it to the actual item. You can test the density by placing it in a vial of water, seeing how much is displaced, placing it on the scale and measuring the weight. And density is mass divided by volume. So we've got the volume here, the mass here. So you're using the tools that you would be using in a lab to test these things without the cleanup, without the materials actually needing to be distributed or obtained. Now there's no substitute for real experimentation, especially in science, but sometimes it's just not feasible and so a virtual lab can be the next best thing. It does give immediate feedback either through the games or through the testing below where the students can test their knowledge and find out how well they did. And it actually tracks these assessments. So it gives students a score and it gives teachers a score. So both the students and the teachers can keep better track of what they know and what they need to learn. If I go to the assessment results, I can see here an example student, Jose T. He scored four wrong and got number five right. So he scored one out of five correct. And it shows me each of the scores he gave. Under lesson info, it gives you an overview of the learning objectives of the gizmo. It shows you what the screen is like, has some related vocabulary. There are user recommendations or comments down below from other users of the site. And they have lesson materials, which is a great resource over here. There's a teacher guide for how to use the lesson or the activity, a vocabulary sheet to strengthen vocabulary. Uh, and there's not an answer key unless you pay for the service, but you can see what the worksheet looks like that goes with it. There's a word format or PDF format document. So here's the PDF of the student exploration sheet. It's basically a worksheet to practice, hone, or maybe pre-assess some of the skills and vocabulary that you're going to be using. So I would give four stars out of four for effectiveness of this site. Finally, is it fun? Well, the activities are well paced. They're, they're, uh, they run at the student's own pace and they don't take too long to provide answers or to get information. So I think they're just right, not too long, not too short for the activities. Uh, they're engaging, they're definitely hands-on and visually stimulating without being overwhelming, without too much on the screen. Um, they do, they are sensory stimulating, they have some sound effects and they are visual, uh, but they don't adapt to the student's difficulty. So if students are having difficulty, there's no way, or, or find it too easy, there's no way to extend or expand or really differentiate how hard or how easy these lessons are for the students. So I would give three out of four stars for the fun factor. So overall, due to some of the accessibility drawbacks of this website, uh, the website would get a 2.8 out of four stars.